Islamic State militants have suffered another defeat in Syria after being driven out of the strategically important town of al karitan 60 miles west of Palmyra. That city was recaptured by Syrian forces backed by Russian airstrikes. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilsom, has been back to Palmyra and seen firsthand the devastation suffered there. We're in the modern town of Palmyra, adjacent to the ancient site, and we've just found the church. And what an extraordinary, extraordinary mess. And then they found these documents lying around on the ground. Um, what our Arabic translators tell us this is, is you can see this is the Islamic State um, logo. This is their kind of document. And uh, you can see Word, Excel, Photoshop. And these are the people they're looking for. They are looking for people to help them in the printing department, people who can do Photoshop, people who can do Word and, and Excel. And these, these documents are just lying around. And then up here, I don't even know if I should touch it. It's a Bible. It's a Bible that's that's been burnt. I can't know if the Islamic State burnt it or if it was burnt during bombardment or it, it's just hard to know. I'm going to go in. This area and these buildings have been cleared by the army so there are no landmines. I'm treading carefully but I know this area has been, has been cleared. And then down on the floor Just this, just a little, a little pamphlet, a Christian pamphlet. And hard to, I'm just trying to imagine the people who used to pray here before Islamic State came. I mean, Christians are always a minority, there weren't even that many, but they could have been pray. And I guess they, they must have fled. And coming up here, Look, just a, half a photograph, a torn photograph of some of the rituals, the Christian rituals that must have gone on in this place. And I guess we'll never know what happened to the people in this photograph, whether they managed to flee, whether they were still here when the zealots came. One can only hope that they survived. <laughs> 